Good morning, everybody. Big Rich here at OFR, and we got our buddy Reaper here. Now, Reap, you just showed up. I know you walked in and you've seen some tools laying out. It's got to intrigue you. Do you know what we're doing today? Well, I know we got to plant the hens and chicks, but I don't know what the tools Okay, that's these over here. We're going to go ahead and plant these hens and chicks. And then the tools are out because this is for cutting lattice and this is for hanging the lattice. We're going to put the lattice up on the back deck. And our, our buddy John shows up to help us out. And so. Did you get the spray paint? So anyways, um, well, it is the color we need it to be, okay? We're going to hang this lattice today. Um, so uh, you got any questions? Yeah, did you get the spray paint? <laughs> oh my goodness. Stick with us and find out, guys. All right, guys, this is the lattice. We're taking around back. And John's here to help, so... Reaper, you guys are going to carry this out back? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think so. I do. You carry the camera. <laughs> I'll carry I'm, Nope. Yeah. Camera. Take the camera. I'll you take can the videos. Camera. I know you will. <laughs> <laughs> you see that, guys? Come on up here, Reap. You see how willing he is to do, do the heavier work? But I try not letting him do that. He does all the bending over for me because, you know, he's still nimble. I don't know how at his age, but it hurts me to bend over. So he does all the groundwork, and uh, I, have, I have no problem doing the heavy stuff. Yeah, we'll see if you can handle your end of the fish tank today. Over to the right. To the right. To the right. That's your other right. <laughs> We're putting it in down here. <laughs> okay, stop there. Okay. Now, I think you read. This is the lattice that we're going to put in all the way across the front right there. Now, my son weeded it out from that corner over to about right there. So we got to weed this out here and move things to be able to hang the lattice on there and then we have to cut it uh to fit in there all the way across so we'll get started on that okay now they're cutting the trees out first let me walk around here they're going to pull on each branch and then they'll, they'll cut it off john pull the plant Yep, pull it off. Now anything sticking out where the, the uh, lattice will go has to be pushed up in there farther, John. It's all kinds of stuff up under there that is going to get buried. Wood. These poles will have to go long way. And pull them out. And what they're trying to do is clear out a, a flat section on the ground that this lattice can hang to and basically cover up all the underneath side there. We can still take the lattice off and access things if we want, but the lattice is just there to go behind all these plants and stuff that we're putting in there. Look at that elephant here over there. That thing's growing great. It's huge, I like it. All these irises are starting to come up now and stand up straight instead of laying over like when we put them in there. We got the canna lily here is flowering all, all crazy. Now these grasses here aren't doing so well. They turned to yellow on us. But everything else, all the hostas and all the other things are doing real good over here and all through the thing. That's a plant we just put there so it needs to start growing. That's another iris. 
but all that ground cover you can see it's starting to grow and, and you know it's going to be connecting eventually pile of weeds okay that gutter and anything sticking out john past the four by four it's got to go up under there farther there you go that way the lattice can reach the ground Can you move that next pole up there farther? There you go. I'm not grabbing this in my hand. Give me a, either a pair of gloves or something to pull this. Because these stick right in you. Oh, stickers? See if you can use your foot to bend it over sideways and we can just cut the stalk off. I don't get it. Right here. Oh, okay. It's a big bullfrog over there. I see him. Here, Reap. John, hand this, hand this to Reaper. I see him. <laughs> Mike him up. No, not up there, on your shirt pocket. I don't have a shirt pocket. Well, then down lower anywhere. If you put it against your throat, you get all that rumbling sound and vibrations. Don't worry about the bullfrog. <laughs> Let's just get this uh, weeds out. See, even grown men want to play like children. <gasps> There's a bullfrog there. We got to get it. <laughs> hey, where's the slaws off? <laughs> right there by your knees. Yeah. Oh. I mean the butt. Oh. I can't wait till we get that next filtration yeah, on here. if you can want to grab it from the bottom, maybe. This is just staying too murky. That's a great Oh, one. now that. You that know comes. what that looks like? Reaper, believe it or not, does that not look like the crystalline entity from Star Trek? Uh -huh. A little bit. That's a briar bush right there. And just grab and pull, it should have come right out. We should just spray like, I don't know, some sort of weed killer all through there. Water, vinegar. Water and vinegar and salt. With a little bit of dish soap. Kills anything. Now up there you gotta work on getting things under the deck. If you look down from where your arm is, John, if you can see it, then it, it's it's not in the way if you can't see it. Let me walk around here. Now look from on top. It's just where I get the luxury of videoing when they're doing stuff that I just can't bend okay, over. Okay, that's it for trees. There we go. Yeah, all that's cleared. Nice. This looks good here. There's one piece of vinyl siding. That two-inch piece there needs to go under a little bit yeah. more. I know. There you go. That's all good. You can't see no more. Grab that blue lid down there. Yeah. I asked Josh to do that the other day. You know the raccoons came up here last night and took this whole container, had it busted open on the middle of the floor again? I told you they're hiding up there. All right, let's get. So you got that log there. Other than that, I think everything else is good to go. You know why that log's there? Because I asked my buddy Reaper to come get all this free wood <laughs> last summer. He come over and took some of it. Had me save it forever. All right. So we're ready to start hanging this lattice. But look how pretty them plants are. That's doing so good. I like it. Uh -huh. Oh, there it is. Okay. <sighs> mm. Ah, how you guys doing? Well, there's what we got so far. Three pieces. Three pieces up, and we've got. Let me see. This is one, two, three. One, two, three. We've got two and a half more pieces to go. And uh, first of all, uh, I want you guys to know that uh, one of our viewers wrote in, and he wanted to cover the cost of this lattice. His name is Shane Lynch. He sent me $200 to cover the cost of this lattice. 
because I was I was complaining about it. I was like, you know, I should cover that with a lattice, but you know, it's like $35, $37 a sheet. That'd be like close to $200 to finish that. And I was like, ah, I'll put that off. He wrote and said, he'd get it done, son. <laughs> Sent me the money. Thank you, Shane, you're, you're awesome. So this is, uh, all this lattice is, is all Shane Lynch's. Uh, so we're, we're uh, hanging it right now. And basically we dug out, you know, took all the, uh, as we, I say, John and Reaper, took out all the weeds out of the, across the bottom. And then I'm taking it and measuring the depth and cutting off the bottom to go with the ground. And then uh, the top stays pretty straight. So we've got the other side to finish yet and uh, we'll, we'll get her done. And this is what it's gonna look like. We've got enough left to do both sides. And these are the pieces we're cutting off of the bottom to make it level the ground. You can see how unlevel the ground is there. We're going to get it done. Usually do, but last one fell off. I mean, it literally ripped itself open and fell off of the thing hanging there. <laughs> Unless Josh bought more this morning or last night, I didn't see. Did you see some today? I think so. Okay, this is what Reaper's been doing. He's been taking these little things and planting them into the rocks all over the place. They're called chicks and hens. Watch you don't step on the pricker bush. Yeah. You got I, more I put, here? I put a little we, one over there. We want them basically across here all the way over to the eagle. There's not enough hole to... Uh, you can put at least one in there. Mm. And then on top right there's a big hole. It's, um, uh, these just roots, put them where you can. You see where the roots do, man? They spread. They're spreaders. I mean, those might do all right. That's why I was going to Fill this whole thing up and put a couple of those, that batch right here, and they can spread out. Well, that'll work, but we wanted them more in the rocks, and into I the put, holes. I put one out there. That petunia, uh, petunia did not make it, unfortunately. No. Uh, it was too late, but I took it out, and I stuffed it in, and I put one there, and that'll spread okay. out as well. We'll try and find a hole in one of these rocks back here so that we can have them up here. Because this gets less water up here. It don't get rained on, you know, that kind of stuff. I thought about this, but maybe a little one. I got some... No, I had Some little hens? <laughs> yeah, see, see the all I got are these. All righty. Well, you continue this. I'm going to go inside. John and his sister are swimming with the big fish. I'm going to go get some video of that. Right. Be right back, buddy. All right, John's setting up his underwater camera rig. You can see that. He's all proud of it. He keeps showing everybody that comes in how it works and how it goes together. <laughs> and you introduced me to your sister as, this is my sister. You never told me your name. That's, that's not proper <laughs> etiquette. <laughs> I'm Lexi. Lexi, okay, I'm Big Rich. So you're going to take your sister swimming in this big monster pond. You have no no care for your sister, whether she lives or dies? Are you serious? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm a little nervous. Oh, don't be nervous. Here, I'll, I'll even go in there. As long as you ain't got food, don't, they'll just basically leave you alone. See how they run away from me? Here's the big guy over here. There's a couple there. Now, he might come up and investigate, but I got no food, see? And then he swim away. This white one, he come investigated. And now he's swimming away. They're looking for food. They're not looking for people. Wait, this is your phone or my phone? That's your phone. Oh, you're using your phone underwater? Oh. God forbid, if he breaks, he buy me a new one. <laughs> what is it? An X, uh, X. Oh, iPhone stuff? Uh, yeah. Kind of know the fish after a while. Oh, wait, wait, let me get that. Now see, masks makes every woman a beautiful woman. <laughs> 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 They're just seeing if you have food. Touch him on his mouth. See? And he just swims away. You don't have food. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> That's your wimp stick. <laughs> now it's a smooth gravel so it shouldn't hurt your feet. Now if anything gets too close to you, you can just use your wimp stick and nudge them away. Don't bonk them. <laughs> yeah, do them on the side or something like that. He might actually go after it if you put it right by his mouth. So just, you know, tap him on the side or something. Push him away. 
Just, we call that a bump stick. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> I thought it did. It did for a second. <laughs> yeah. See? It'll just go away. You're good? <laughs> Brave girl. John's got his underwater camera. We're going to see all the cichlids. <laughs> Here, you want to use this? This is my spare air. If you go down scuba diving, you keep this as an emergency air. And what it is, is you can take this and, and bite on this, and then you can breathe for up to 15 minutes underwater to get back up top. But we use it here just for cleaning and stuff like that. So get this uh, mouthpiece wet, rinse it off, and then you can uh, go underwater for a while. That's because I don't want you biting on my mouthpiece. I haven't told you. <laughs> You need it half and half. Put it half underwater as she goes down. You can see her above the water. You put that in your mouth, bite on it, and you can breathe in and out underwater. Yep. You just leave that in your mouth. And, and it hangs from your mouth. You ain't got to hold it. You got to do it above water. <laughs> you took it on water. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> you start above water. Yeah, you just put it in your mouth. And there you go. Now go underwater. Go ahead. See, he's scuba diving now. Now she's scuba diving. How neat. What do you think? Very cool. That's cool? You try Now, are you having a, tro a problem staying down? No, I'm a sinker. The water don't want to make you float? No. Okay, because I got a dive belt that'll hold you down. See, and I told John I didn't want him biting on my mouthpiece. <laughs> he took that out of your mouth? Yeah, I couldn't see. I was in the back of your head. <clears throat> That's the video right there. That oh. was a really smooth one. You, you, you got that one? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> She's scared of the food. <laughs> nice. He took that. Nice is nice and sweet. Here comes a white one towards you. Nice, you're getting the hang of it. There's the big alligator gar.
And here she comes up right up to him. Oh. There you go. Now pet him. That's it. Good job. Yeah, she's scared of the Pima, but goes after the gar. The Pima don't have teeth like that. The gar are like, they can draw blood. I think. <sighs> okay, so now you've been in the big pool pond with the monster fish. How'd you like it? It was a lot of fun. Yeah, you look like you was having fun. What's that? All right, let's go, John. Walk. You were trying to walk straight and went forward, weren't you? Make sure you tell everybody. That's what we give you for helping us so much. It won't fit in this way. Nope. Set it right Put one of the seats down. Yeah. We'll slide it up that way. You taking a stand with it? Really don't need it. There you go. What are you putting in it? The box turtle. Okay, so you don't need glass lids or nothing? Hey, 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 go get the dog, go get the dog, go get the dog, go get the dog. Sorry about that. He's a little shit. That's twice. I tied him, mean, when I did the things right here, I had to retie him up then. Diesel. He got away. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I was like, look at this guy. He's got two dogs and they're, they're uh, giving him hard time. Wait, that's my dog. <laughs> Diesel. Diesel. Look at you little cute thing. Getting Aww. Away. Are you uh, hanging around too or are you leaving? I'm leaving. Ah. Well, it was very nice yeah. meeting you and getting to know you. I'm trying to get a little selfie. Give her to Puppy for the video. Yeah, he's open, yeah. Oh, I'll just take that fish tank out whenever I get back to your house. Tomorrow. Okay. All right, see ya. Nice meeting you too. All right. Now let me see here. You got me trudging through the water. Wow, this is barely cutting anything off. But the whole thing's gonna lift up. Okay, so we're good. Hillbilly ingenuity at work. Okay. Let's take that, John. Take it that way. Hold it upright. Turn it. Okay. Now, I'll take this, if you can get me the circular saw. Block maybe. You zoom out far enough? Yeah, that's the only... Not really. Turn it. Now you can turn just the top. Leave your tripod still, turn the top. Turn what top, this? Yeah, that'll turn. There you go. Yeah, that's showing the... It's showing the whole top edge. Mm. Woohoo! 
<laughs> okay, we're going to have to go under that hose and that cord. Nope. There we go. Ouch. All right, screw gun, screws. Okay, bring your end where you need it, Reap. I need it right here or over right here. I don't know. There and there, so right here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, it's loose. It's bowed. It's bowed from sitting up there. It's bowed. You at it? Give me a screw gun. Would, would you go over there and like take a look at it straight on. Finished product look, uh, you know. Okay. That's going to be for the sides. Bring it over. No, we're going to do that. We're not doing that now, are we? No. No. That's for later. But, yep, looks good. All right, guys, look at that. Sides done. Look at across the front. The front's all done. And we did the other side. The problem is um, we didn't have enough to finish. So last night uh, we went and grabbed another another panel of this. So we have that in front. We're going to cut that today to finish this side. But let me see if I can get over here. We got that corner done there. We've got one more piece to do on the very end right there. And it'll be a done job. Very nice. So thank you. Shane Lynch is the one who bought all this uh, lattice for us. So thank you very much. You, you, <laughs> we we don't deserve the, the you know following we got, and it's just you guys are too nice and too good people. So, but it's starting to really look nice. It's looking better. Now we can start. Well, this week, sometime, whenever they get this here, um, then we can start enclosing this deck. And we will pretty much be done, except for we're going to continue getting more and more plants and get this built up with more plants and then work on the second filtration because that one wetland filter definitely isn't enough. Greg Woodstock said so. That was big enough for the original plans, but when me and Josh um, decided to do this, we didn't change the wetland filter. Didn't even think about it. So that was our fault. We got to add another one or more filtration somehow, but it's it's looking really nice so wanted to show you guys the finished product and uh you know stick with us please hit that like button uh that really helps us out and uh share the videos that helps us out too um comment as much as you can we're now commenting back to all you guys so we're trying to you know grow the channel more now um so i'm going to try and comment on everything instead of just putting a heart on there letting you guys know I'm, I'm reading it I'm going to comment back to you guys and, and actually engage in conversations so uh, if you guys can you know and make sure you're subscribed and you know this this whole YouTube thing it's not notifying a bunch of people when we put out videos you might want to hit that notification bell and unsubscribe or something and then re-hit it back again so maybe it starts uh, notifying you again but Remember, we put out a video every other day, and so does the OFR Behind the Scenes channel. It's the opposite every other day. So, thanks guys, thanks for watching, and as always, stay fishy, my friends. <laughs>